There's nothing here. Oh, George. Into what remote epoch did that infernal machine take you? Or did that beautiful girl of the future lure you to destruction? Hmm. Oh, you're dead, I suppose. The world will never know. I'll never know. I begged you not to go, George. I begged you to live in your own time. Our own time. Because if you died in the past or in the future, then you never lived in this life at all. Well, George, time to lock this place up and get back to headquarters. You're back. <laughs> oh, thank God you're back. <laughs> oh, 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 George. Oh, I gave you up for dead long ago. And you're almost right a hundred times over, David, but I'm not dead. And you're here. How did you know to meet me? Have you become psychic, David? Psychic nonsense. <laughs> no. Oh, let me look at you. Oh, no. One more day, and I would have missed you. Yeah, I'm here because I... Fly to France in the morning. Yes. Yes. Uh, I was just uh, locking the place up for the duration, but there's duration no Duration of to... the war. Yes. It's the war that will be known as World War One. Will there be others? Many, many others, David. Anyway, I'm here because of this one. Well, what about this war? Uh, David, David, war is fruitless. It's a senseless, tragic venture. And there are no victors, only victims. I'm sorry, I, I could go on for a lifetime telling you about the wars I've seen. Well, come on, George, we, we have a lot to tell one another. Oh, 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 oh I've missed you, old friend. Oh, I've, 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 not a day goes by where I didn't think of you. Huh? Where is he? <laughs> is he coming back? Ah, oh, and I've got to ask you, did you go back to her? Weena? Yes, we spent many wonderful years together, David. We helped build a whole new world of peace. For that time, anyway. Uh, many years, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, David. <laughs> Listen, if you, if you sit in this machine and go to the year 3000 and not be a day older, but if you stop in time the way I did for as long as I did, then age marches on, David. <laughs> go on. No, I don't want to go on, old friend. I want you to share with me the future. It has become magnificent. No, 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 George, stop. I don't want to hear anything about the future. You don't understand something, David. There isn't much time. Isn't time? Well, you're the one with all the time in the world. I'm the man who, who, who hasn't got much time. Yes, I know that, David. That's why it's so fortunate to find you here. And to have my machine right there. We can leap the ears. George, no, no. No, don't take any more solitary trips into the future. I don't intend to take a solitary trip. Thank God. Thank God indeed. You're coming with me, David. Oh, you're joking. 
Well, you've not been here five minutes, and you're ready to leave. Dear friend, why are you so much against living in the now? I mean, you've missed so much. Besides, this contraption would not hold the two of us. Of course it can. Don't you remember I told you? This doesn't shift around in space. It doesn't bump up and down like a carriage. It stays right there. All we have to do is hang on and leave this war in the past. George, I have my duty. Forget your duty, David. You've got to come with me now. This is madness, George. Years ago, I told you to destroy that machine. Well, do it now. I could never do that, David. Well, if you can't, I can. I'll destroy it for you. Anyway. David! Oh, that machine, it's an abomination. David, that's my life. This is my whole reason for being. Would you rob me of that? No, George. I can't do it. Forgive me. I'm sorry, forgive me. You know, it's just... It's simply... I don't like a device that... That may alter the what the fates have in store for us. No fates, no. <sighs> David, do you remember you once invited me to your house to meet little Jamie? Huh. Well, I met him. I spoke to him in front of your store. He's become a fine young man. You talked to we, Jamie? He never told me. Well, uh, he didn't know who I was. I, I, I didn't tell him. Ah. And then you came back here. Where was I? Oh, you can probably tell me what's going to happen to me. I had the biggest store in town. Hmm? Future prime minister here. Yeah? <laughs> Come on, George. It's time to go, David. We've got to go now. I can't go, George. I, I have my orders. Your orders? You just won't change, will you, David? All right. I suppose I have to understand that. But believe me, what fate has in store for us can be changed. Then, perhaps, another time, we will... Meet again, won't we, George? We will meet again. Until then. Until then, old friend. my machine. It is going to get into a clumsy, primitive flying machine and crash on the coast of France. It'll be May the 15th, 1916. But like he said, I have all the time in the world. I shall come back May the 14th. Maybe my dear friend change his mind and come with me.